that, let's move into the next topic. Let's talk about gambling. Nevada Sportsbooks just took their first overall losing month for June since 2013. In July of 2013, they lost $548,000 in Nevada Sportsbooks. This June, they lost $483,000. Now, I'm sure that you are all asking the question, right? How in the world could you lose that much money in sports books in June when you just opened and there was no baseball, there was no football, there was no basketball, there was no whatever. MLS wasn't here. Uh, the Premier League was barely starting up. Like, what happened in June to allow you to lose that much money? And I will explain, and then it will all make sense. According to the control board, there was a net loss of $5,261,000 on football bets. Now, we know that there were no losses, or there were no football games in June. So how do you lose that much in June? Well, remember, the middle of March, they shut down all of the sports books. They shut down all the casinos in Vegas. People still had football futures that they had to get cashed. And you have 90 to 100 or 60 to 120 days from the end of the season, which was at the beginning of February, to get those things cashed. So then once they finally opened the sports books back up, well, they reset the clock. So once you get into June, everybody decided to come in and cash their football futures. So over-unders on regular season wins, teams to make the playoffs, teams to win the Super Bowl, teams, da-da-da-da-da, all of these different things. I mean, you still had Super Bowl bets to pay out. So, of course, you're going to take a massive loss on that. That also means that they made back over $4 million on other things, whether that's uh, Korean baseball or the Japanese league or uh, soccer or any number of things. I mean, they're betting on cornhole. They're betting on on everything at this point. So, yeah, I uh, I was surprised to see it because, I mean, obviously they do not take losses very often, at least not overall losses. But for the first time since July 2013, Nevada Sportsbooks took a massive loss, $483,000, and that is not an insignificant amount of money, but for them, that is really nothing. That is really nothing. They will make that back and then some this month just on baseball. All right, let's talk a little pop culture right quick. We're going to make today's show relatively short. A little pop culture today. NBC Universal, and we talked about this before. We were talking about dinosaurs and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Michael said, never a good time for the economy if sports books are losing money. No, 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 no. It's a great time for the economy because that means everybody was getting paid. So <laughs> Joseph said, gambling, okay. Uh, baseball first games were mainly all chalk and soccer was hit hard, but people holding tickets. Wow. Hey, look, look, look. When you got football futures, people are coming back to Vegas because not everybody that is uh, that, that has a ticket from Vegas is from Vegas. You got guys flying in. You got guys traveling in and whatnot. If you weren't able to get back there in March, a lot of them were going to come back for the NCAA tournament, and that's the way it goes. They were going to come back for the NCAA tournament, actually cash their Super Bowl and playoff bets, their NFL future bets. You can't do that unless the sports books are open and everything was shut down once March Madness went down. That was on, what, March 10th? So, yeah, I, you, you see where this is going. So if they couldn't do that, obviously they had to hold on to their tickets. So, again, let's discuss 